back to my channel today i'm filming for you guys another what i eat in a day and it's gonna kind of be like a what i eat in a day while doing online school so not that today i'm doing anything for online school i just have some online lectures to watch but yeah i just figured i'd still take you guys with me and show you kind of what my new normal is like as i go into my fall semester if you're new here hi my name is zoe i love sharing recipes and just sharing how to live a healthy lifestyle and also advocate for mental health awareness the goal is for this to be a safe space for you in really talking about mental health and understanding that you are loved and you are worth it just as you are and i don't know i just think that's the kind of vibe i want people to get when they watch my videos and come to my channel but anyway today is going to be a what i eat in a day so i'm going to show you what i'm making for breakfast i'm making my typical smoothie bowl and yeah i'll just show you what goes into that so right now i just put in some frozen blueberries some frozen banana and some frozen pitaya and i just added some almond milk and then now i'm going to add some flax meal and i'm gonna add some of this protein okay so to celebrate that it's friday i'm feeling a little special today put it in this aloha smoothie bowl i got this from coconut bowls i'll leave a link to it if you are interested in buying it got their aloha bundle and it's so cute i'm topping it with is some almond butter and some homemade granola <laughs> So it is around 1 o'clock now, 12.45, almost 1 o'clock, and I did a quick workout outside. I'm really tired now, and my legs are probably going to be sore tomorrow, but yeah, I'm going to have lunch now. I made some more of my uh, roasted vegetables because I absolutely have been in love with having them for lunch, um, and I've been on a sweet potato kick, so I've just... That and crunchy chickpeas, like both of those together are along with the trader joe's almond dressing is it's so good so yeah i'm just going to have that for lunch i'm basically just going to throw that on top of a bed of spinach and then top it with the trader joe's dressing i didn't do much after breakfast kind of got sidetracked i didn't really work on school stuff at all i did submit one of my introduction videos and then now i need to submit my module one assignment for one of my classes but other than that i'm basically done for the weekend and i can just chill and then something i did do between breakfast and now is I pr didn't practice but I just did some singing I don't know I feel like taking an hour just to sing songs and just like look up karaoke songs and sing has just been such an outlet for me and like I love singing so much like for fun definitely look into taking singing classes in the future like to practice and like to get better at it um but I've been loving just doing it for fun and yeah so that was kind of a little tangent but Besides the fact, I'm gonna go make my lunch now and I'll show you guys what that ends up looking like. Okay, so I just made some banana bread and it looks so good. The recipe I used to make it is from Tess Beg's uh, desserts ebook. I forget what it's called, but I'll leave a link in the description box if you're interested in purchasing it but yeah i swear by her banana bread recipe it's always so good and i would normally add chocolate chips to it but i felt like doing something different so i added walnuts instead um so yeah i'm kind of hungry now so probably gonna have that as a snack right now okay so it is a bit later now i think it's almost 10 o'clock p.m but Basically, after my snack, um, I just did some stuff around the house. Um, I got sucked into TikTok, um, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. I mean, today I just chilled. I completed all my schoolwork, so basically I'm free for the weekend. And I was just relaxing and being bored, which is so important just to take time and just be lazy. Um, but... We were going out to dinner and I know the place we were going didn't have any real like friendly options for like vegetarian or vegans so I made myself a burrito bowl to have before and that was really really good. Um, I always love that's always such a quick and easy meal for me to make and 
yeah i had that and then we just got back not too long ago and i'm kind of tired um and so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna read some of my book before i go to bed but yeah i finally start to, to those that have been following me i finally started i finally started this book i think well, I did like a little intermission period and I read a different book instead, but now I'm back to finally reading this one. And I'm at that point where I just really want to finish the series and be done with it. Not because I'm tired of it, but because I just really want to invest in something else. Like I hate leaving things undone. So I'm gonna just going to finish this book hopefully this week um, and then finish the series soon. So yeah, that's going to kind of be it for this What I Eat In A Day. I feel like it wasn't as productive as i intended it to be or as i usually intend my what i eat in a days to be um but yeah i guess that just goes to show you that not every day is the same every day is different and you should never compare one day of eating to how i would eat every single day or how you would eat every single day but besides the fact um I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, but if you didn't, be sure to give it a thumbs down because that's okay too. If you're not already subscribed, be sure to click the subscribe button and the bell icon so you know when I post videos next. But other than that, know that I'm sending all of you guys so much love and positive vibes and that I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.